my happy readers, it's Shed Time Stories with me, Izzy. Are you ready to share a new story? Well, I have chosen a rather spotty story to share. The title is Pixie Pox, taken from the second book in the series of the wonderful tales of Pixie Bramble and his woodland friends. If you have this book at home, you can read along with me. The author, the person who has written this story, is Christine Jordan. And the illustrator, the person who has drawn all the pictures, is Stella Mirabella. Now, poor Foxglove is feeling rather poorly. She has pixie pox. Bramble and Bluebell have gone to visit her. I wonder what happens. Shall we read and find out? Pixie Pox, taken from the second book, the wonderful tales of Pixie Bramble and his woodland friends. Deep in the woods at night, where the moon shines her silvery light, the fairies and pixies come to play amongst the toadstools. Fairy Bluebell and Pixie Bramble were on their way to visit their friend, Fairy Foxglove. Foxglove had Pixie Pox and had been at home in bed all day. Poor Foxglove, they both said as they saw her. Foxglove had green and blue spots all over her face. We have brought you some nettle soup and dandelion juice, said Bramble. It will make you feel better. Thank you, said Foxglove. Bramble had brought a colouring book and some paint made from rainbows for Foxglove. And Bluebell gave her a cuddly toy squirrel. Would you like to play a game? Bluebell asked. I don't feel well enough to get up and play, said Foxglove. Oh, I know, said Bramble. We can play I Spy. That way you don't have to get out of bed. That's a great idea, said Foxglove and Bluebell. I'll go first, said Bramble. I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. Is it shoes? asked Bluebell. No, it's not shoes, said Bramble. Is it soup? asked Foxglove. No, it's not soup either, said Bramble. OK, we give up, the two replied. It's squirrel, said Bramble, holding up Bluebell's present. My turn, said Bluebell. I spy with my little eye, something beginning with P. Is it primroses? asked Foxglove. No, said Bluebell. Is it plums? said Bramble. No, where can you see plums, Bramble? asked Bluebell. I can't, replied Bramble, but you never know. OK, we give up said Foxglove and Bramble. It's paint, said Bluebell, holding up Bramble's present. It's my turn now, said Foxglove. I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. We've already had S, said Bramble. I know we have, but this is another S said Foxglove. OK, said Bramble. Is it Squirrel? No, said Foxglove. We've already had Squirrel. Is it Soup? said Bluebell. No, it's not Soup either, said Foxglove. OK, we both give up, said Bluebell and Bramble. Foxglove picked up her mirror. That begins with M, said Bramble. Look closer, laughed Foxglove. Oh dear, they shouted. Bluebell and Bramble had both caught Pixie Pox 
And now their faces were covered in spots too. If you believe in fairies. As I was lying in my bed, a fairy landed on my head. She pinched my cheeks and tweaked my nose and tugged my hair until I rose. Her fairy dress was emerald green. Her fairy shoes were too. But her tiny little fairy wings, well, you could see right through. She did a skip and then a hop and sat upon my knee. She looked me in the face and smiled. And then she said to me, If you believe in fairies, then I will come each night. When the stars are twinkling in the sky and the moon is shining bright, I'll sing you songs of unicorns and riding dragonflies and how we paint the rainbows and colour butterflies. I'll tell you tales of woodland folk and how we make the snow and how we sprinkle fairy dust to make the snowflakes glow. We tell the flowers when it's spring and teach the blackbird how to sing. We help the spider build her web and put spots on ladybirds. There are so many things to learn, so many things to tell. So if you believe in fairies of us, you must not speak. For grown-up folk don't understand, our secret you must keep. So if you believe in fairies as you lay down to sleep, I'll land upon your pillow and kiss you on the cheek. What a super spotty story that was! And what a fun game of I Spy all the friends played! But poor Bluebell and Bramble, they caught Pixie Pox or Foxglove. I wonder, have you ever played I Spy? I hope you've enjoyed this Shed Time story and if you want to, you can like, share, follow and subscribe to Shed Time Stories. Then you'll be ready for the next book we can share together. Bye-bye.